Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop vinyl figure. This one from Pinky and the Brain. Number 159. Pinky. Now, if you guys ever saw the Animaniacs, you would remember these guys. The Animaniacs was basically like a skit show. Uh, they had different sets of uh, cartoons every every episode and you know sometimes these guys would come out pinky in the brain i'm not sure if they got their own tv series later on but i remember them mostly from the animaniacs and now they're finally making them into funko pop which is pretty cool i know it's been a while since i posted a video but you know how it is Sometimes you can post, sometimes you just can't. You need to go get yourself some Funko Pop. Now usually the way this uh, story went was there was Pinky and the Brain. Uh, there was a Mad Genius, which was Pinky. The, oh, I'm sorry, the Brain, of course, that's the name. The Brain. And then there was uh, Pinky, his Stooge. Basically, they go around the entire episode trying to take over the world or come up with a plan to take over the world. Most of the time, they failed miserably. They always failed miserably. Never succeeded. Go full exorcist on this puppy. Pretty simple figure. Again, the, the cartoon was from Warner Brothers, the Animaniacs. So, that guy's simple was kind of the rule of the day. Get your standard Funko Dead Eyes. Big red nose, bulbous red nose. Kind of vague eyebrow pop there, so he's always had kind of a bit of a vague expression on his face. And a nice little tuft of hair up here. He's got two protruding teeth right here. Nice dimples, dimpled smile. Yeah, as if you didn't know this guy was a bit of a, a ditz, uh, they got the teeth there to help you out hands are there held together in in glee as he looks at something though well, it didn't take much to make him happy solid white figure just a brown tail here some brown feet and his hands not much to the figure and big big ears these guys were lab mice they were usually held in acne labs and that's where they usually try to pull off their insane uh, schemes to take over the world. Uh, the, like I said, it was part of a skit show, so I remember not only Pinky and the Brain, but there's always the Good Feathers, which was kind of a take on Goodfellas. And which was the other one? There was one with a dog that would always take care of a little baby. Terrible parenting. And a couple others, Sally the Squirrel. Uh, oddly enough, uh, the Animaniacs were more geared toward, had a lot of adult jokes. I mean, if uh, you really, one adult joke uh, they're infamous for actually is a, a prince joke. So look that up. And it was the era of, you know, kind of these irreverent pop culture reference making cartoon characters. So you had these guys, you had Freakazoid, stuff like that. This all fell in the same, you know, wheelhouse. Again, Freakazoid again was also from uh, Warner Brothers. All in all, stands pretty well. Doesn't have a base or anything. It's just him. And I'll be taking a look at the rest of them later on. Right now, uh, Toy Fair 2017 is taking place, so there's a lot of news on new Funko Pop figures and everything. I'll see if I can put a link to one of my favorite sites in the description, so take a look for that. But really, there's a lot of news on Funko Pop figures that are coming out, Overwatch, uh, there's more uh, Rick and Morty, and there's also some Gravity Falls stuff finally coming our way, Funko Pop style. So there's a lot to look forward to for the rest of the year. Anyway, thanks for still being here. Thanks for clicking on the video and thanks for subscribing. I'll be putting up a lot more videos.
Thanks for watching. Bye.